video is about to take a completely unexpected turn. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. So usually when I go on a stealth camp, I stop at a supermarket on the way to pick up all the food that I need. But tonight I thought I'd do something that everybody else seems to do and I've not yet done. And that is a supermarket stealth camp. So rather than taking a detour to the supermarket, we're just going to go there and stay there. But we might need to take a quick detour to the post office to rescue someone. Basically, I've got a friend called Izzy who is an international model. She travels around the world doing photo shoots. But last week she was in London. So we met up, had a little catch up. And then I drove her to the airport because she had to be in Germany. And on the way to the airport, she dropped her little coin purse thing down by the side of this chair here. And then we heard a coin fall out of it and get stuck under the seat. So we just thought nothing of it. Anyway, it turns out she's now got to be in Poland where she's just bought an apartment and she's going there to check out the apartment and sort it out. And she has just found out that her key has gone missing from her purse. So now she thinks it's stuck down under my passenger seat. I can't actually see anything down there at the moment. We're gonna have to get out. The problem is I can't put this seat back any further because of the kitchen units behind it. We can put it forward. Well, right, I'm not gonna have to get in that way. We're gonna have to go in from the front. Just some light on the subject. Oh, oh, something shiny. Oh, oh no, it's wedged. There is something here. And it is a key. I don't know why I felt so excited to find it then. This is not a good thing. Oh, you are joking. What the hell is wrong with me? <sighs> We've latched on. Come on, don't drop it now. Get that out. Right, the good news is I found the key. Um, the bad news is the post offices around here are going to shut like very, very soon. Just get back to me as soon as you can. I'm going to head to the post office now and hopefully we can figure something out. There's no time to spare. What the hell is that? Ah, oh, the door's still open. God, it's all going wrong today. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. The post office, the post office shuts in. Knocked my camera out and everything. According to the map, there is a local post office around here, which means I should make it in time, but we still don't have the address to send it to, so it might be pointless. If I was to send uh, something small, a house key, to Poland, what's the quickest do you know that it could possibly get there? Poland? Yeah, so obviously I know it's uh, be looking around. Three, four days. I can't do anything at the moment anyway, because the whole network's failed. Oh, is that just for this post office? No, it's the whole network. He said the whole entire post office network is down. The locksmith can't sort it out until I prove that I own the apartment and all of my paperwork is inside. I mean, I could go to Hermes or something, but chances are they'll leave it in a safe place, and that safe place, knowing them, could be Australia. I'm only here for six days in Poland, so I need to sort things out. All right, look, don't worry about it, first of all. We're going to sort it. This video is about to take a completely unexpected turn. How are no, you? I don't. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, come I'm on. Good. Well, I'm just waiting for Izzy to go and get a rental car, so I thought this was the perfect time to introduce today's video sponsor, which is Surfshark. So for those who don't know, a VPN routes your internet connection through a secure server that encrypts your data. So not only does it protect you from people hacking you and stealing your information, you can trick websites and apps into thinking that you're in a different location. So you can do things like stream content that's usually only available in a particular region, like America, for example. So basically, if you use a VPN, you can watch so much more stuff on your favorite streaming platform platform. But I'm not just promoting Surfshark in particular for the hell of it. For work, I actually create content for a VPN review channel. So trust me, I've done hundreds of videos on VPNs and Surfshark is actually the one that I always recommend to people anyway. With just one subscription, you can use the account on an unlimited number of devices. So I've got it on my phone, my laptop and my computer at home and I don't pay any extra for that. They're cheaper than the competitors but without sacrificing any quality and they have a 30 day money back guarantee. And on top of that, if you use the link in the description and my discount code, you're gonna get 83% off plus an extra three months for free. 
Hold on, this took me about three hours to rent a car before. Is this all you do? Scan a code yeah. and just drive away? You just scan this QR code? Yeah, you can, but I, I have an app, so I don't need to scan it anymore. But sometimes they ask. This is it's just the sort me. of thing it's that happens me. in uh, that Poland, apparently. Me. The whole car's it's like it. Driving. <laughs> the strangest thing is sitting on this side of the car <laughs> and not having a steering wheel or pedals. can make you a steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> one of those little baby ones there. Yeah, you can feel better. I like it out here, it's in the middle of nowhere. Well, I've flown, I don't know how many thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> You're insane. You are insane. <laughs> You're still yeah, my decorating. Balcony. My balcony is done, but I just need to get the silicone in there. Let's see what's in my fridge. I have a lot of chocolate, you can record this, look. That's the only thing I do have. Oh, we've got mustard, champagne, almond milk, which is probably bad. What is that? Mustard. Like, looks cool. When you said you just bought it, I was picturing well, I, it being completely I bought it last empty. year, 1st of uh, June. It was a uh, concrete, everything was concrete. I designed everything. Honestly, if you were to give me a map of Poland right now, and give me a pin to put in it where I am, your guess is as good as mine. Honestly, I have not even the slightest bit of a clue. She just told me the name of an airport and I booked it. I haven't even looked on a map at all. All right, we're entering some sort of a uh, shopping mall. What do they call it over here? A gallery. Gallery, yeah. What's a Cernic? Cernic. Cernic. It's a cake. Let's it's have a made of cheese. Cheesecake? Cheesecake, yeah. Yeah, let's have one of them. Ketchup flavoured Cheetos. Oh, here we go. These. We have these back at home. Yeah. That's not a monster munch. I mean, come on, what is that? That's not a monster munch. No, but they're our monster munch. They're different. They're, they're ghost munch. The that is definitely a pig's foot, isn't it? I wasn't just seeing things. Smacko Witter. Smacko Witter. It's a good smack, good taste. Good smack? Good smack. Pizza crisps, chicken, stuff. I don't know what it is. And you've got extra stuff. The time difference is like an hour ahead here or something like that. I've had a long day. Izzy's had a long year. <laughs> I don't even go there. She works no, very hard. My year is a stain from my sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened to your sleeves? My sleeves represent my emotional state of mind. <laughs> Are they meant to be like that? No. Right, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. There you go. Thank you. Good morning. You've got a nice back garden, I'll give you that. That's why I bought it. No people. Since I've just woken up in Poland instead of Asda car park, I think I'm going to make the most of it. So I haven't actually booked my return flight home yet. I think I'm going to do it for tomorrow, maybe the next day. I'll have a look in a minute and see what I can book. But Izzy's just getting ready and she's going to show us around Poland and see what this place has to offer. Oh no, what's that going to happen? <laughs> gonna... Air rifles don't count. <laughs> the uh, street art graffiti around here is a lot better than in the UK. In the UK, it's just a picture of a massive hairy car. Highlight of the trip a genuine Polish pigeon. A Polygin. I might buy some clothes, but first things oh, first McDonald's. McDonald's. On the top floor. I can't come all the way to Poland without trying the local cuisine. Apart from when you're driving, that's what they should do in the UK. No plastic lids. We're going to unpack all the goodies and stuff inside here. I thought I'd escaped all this. This is like the M25 rush hour. We're in standstill traffic in... where are we? So we're kind of in the middle of nowhere before we get to the big city. How the hell do we know each other? <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, we slided into my DM. No, I think it wants to be something like that. I think I did do a bit of sliding. Yeah. But not in a, not in a no, like, no, no, flirty like way. A... <laughs> well, no, we met, I met you and uh -huh. another model as well. Yes, yes, yes. And you two hadn't met either, had you? No, we haven't met either. But so we the spoke... three of us jumped on a plane yeah. and went to Portugal it for Sounds a week. actually crazy, you know. It was a good week though. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got that. There was 57 pizza crisps in there. There's actually a four pack, yeah. 
Loads of massive, evil, poisonous bugs keep coming in. <laughs> I mean, I'll do it myself, but I haven't got any hands free. You know, I've got to film with that hand, drink with this hand. You're doing all right, Izzy. Keep going. Oh, yeah, we've got to release them. We can't kill them. Yeah, I know. Let's just take them onto the balcony and release them. What, does it pop open that way? Yeah. Yeah, they'll just fly straight out the top. Yeah. <laughs> she thinks she's some sort of sniper since we've been in that gun range. Look at this. <laughs> it is getting fairly late and there's no more pizza crisps left. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time to call it a night. <laughs> it looks exquisite. Are you sure <laughs> that we're allowed down here? Yeah, it's off-road. Oh, I just saw a lake. There's a lake back yeah, that so way. Do a U-turn. You guys do a U-turn, here. Yeah. I'm a safe driver, I promise. <laughs> so this lake is literally about two minutes away from where Izzy lives. You didn't even know it was here, did you? No, I don't know anywhere where I actually This is like a surprise. I'm being spoiled today. It's like you're taking me on an outing. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Have you ever seen such a glorious sight in all your life? Look at them! What's this then, chef? Oh my god, it's toxic. the only thing you wanted to eat. There's <laughs> a culture exploring different foods. This looks like the setup for one of them very dodgy videos, but I know how to fix your washing machine. Yeah. Izzy? Yes? Would you care to take a look at your washing machine? What did you do? I fixed it. Oh my god, okay. I'm a plumber. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, basically the um, child lock was on. The world says hello. <laughs> Good morning, starshine. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. The earth says hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning people. I'm pretty tired today. I'm in need of a coffee and some breakfast. And then I'm gonna book my flight home. I wish I had some sort of a maid. Morning coffee. Morning. Do you reckon you could pass me the uh, coffee actually? Thank you. It's just a bit far away, that's all. Right, I am actually joking. She doesn't just wander around like a maid every day. She's trying on some outfits for a photo shoot she's got soon. But check out the breakfast today. You've done well, Izzy. I gave you a little cute pelican plate. <laughs> Toasties. Izzy, Ow. you have been amazing. Thank you so much for bringing my food. <laughs> All right, safe drive. I'll see you soon. Right. Where were we? Ah oh, yes, the supermarket stealth camp. Everyone's been going on about this heat wave in the UK, but a few spots of rain have just come down. To be honest, I'm not bothered about that. In fact, I'm quite happy about that because I wasn't really looking forward to sleeping in the van tonight if it is gonna be properly hot. So I'm just pulling into this big Tesco's. I'm hoping they're still open. There's cars coming out, so I think they are. Just in case it is gonna be too hot, I'm gonna try and park somewhere that's gonna be shady in the morning. In fact, hey Siri, show me the compass. Right, so, what is it? It rises in the east, sets in the west. So if it's rising in the east, that is that way. So we need to be along those trees at the back there. Hopefully that'll give us a little bit of a lay-in without the van heating up too much because I am so tired. In fact, this is the perfect spot. It's actually covered by trees. And it's up against the edge. So if I open up my door, no one will see me. Plus, we're a fair bit away from the entrance, which is always a good thing when stealth camping. Okay, we're in. Now, usually I'd like to wait about half an hour before I start doing anything, just to check it out and make sure no one's gonna come up to the van. But after that flight, I'm so hungry, I'm so tired. The shop doesn't shut for two hours yet and there's no way I'm waiting that long. There are still people coming and going from the shop quite a bit and there's cars driving right in front of the van. I'm just gonna have a real quick look out the front window and then just get on with it. And hopefully no one sees us from the shop because I do need to have the door open a bit when I'm cooking. So when I pulled up, there was a Tesco van right in front of me just over here. The police are over it. Oh, they're coming around. You 
this is Emmental cheese and thick cut ham. I've never had Emmental cheese before. Well, I have, but not in a toasty. Let's see if we've got much of a stretch on this cheese, shall we? Oh yes, look at that. She is a beauty. I'd love to stay up and chat to you guys like I usually do, but tonight I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna get the projector out, get on some YouTube videos to catch up with that because I haven't been able to watch anything in the last few days. Finish this first, obviously, and then I'm gonna get me some sleep, but I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning people, there's quite a bit of movement going on outside, it's not been too hot in here actually, I think my plan must have worked with parking in the shade, I'll find out in a minute, I've not been outside yet, but talking about the heat, I'm hoping the weather's going to calm down a little bit because in about two days time, me and Victoria, we're going to a van life festival event thing. We're going to be there for three days staying in the van. We're going to be in the middle of a field, so there's not going to be any shade. So hopefully it's not going to get too hot. I'm not actually going to make a vlog of that trip because we made a vlog of the last one. I think it would just be a repeat video, but we will be posting up regular Instagram stories. So check out the description below. My Instagram is there. But for now, I'm going to take a quick peek out of the front curtain to see what's going on. And if the coast is clear, I'm going to get out the side door and get some fresh air. So I had to move one space away from these bushes because I have my window open like one or two inches just to let a bit of air in. And the amount of bugs that were flying out of this bush and into the window was ridiculous. But we're still, or we were still, just about in the shade. My plan worked. Unfortunately, the sun has just started to come round now. Right, let's get home for a much needed shower. So just a reminder, if you guys do want to stay safe online and unblock loads more streaming content like movies and TV shows that you can't watch in your own country, Click on the link below to Surfshark VPN. This has been a... What the hell is going on? There's bugs all over the place knocking about in this thing. It's been a successful video. Not only the stealth camp, but all that madness that went on. I really enjoyed filming this one. I hope you guys had fun watching it. As always, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next video.